हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स होप यू ऑल आर गुड एंड डूइंग ग्रेट एट योर होम माई सेल्फ दीक्षा राय दिस इज योर सब्जेक्ट टीचर ऑफ कंप्यूटर फ्रॉम एलपीएम पब्लिक स्कूल सिचुएटेड इन गोला बाजार गोरखपुर सो डियर स्टूडेंट बिफोर स्टार्टिंग दिस चैप्टर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल टॉक अबाउट चैप्टर नंबर फर्स्ट इंट्रोडक्शन टू आई so dear student do you know that what is the full form of ipo it's input processing output input processing output so dear student we read the chapter you studied in your previous video in your chapter we have learned about introduction to ipo and in your chapter there are a lot of important topic like a computer is a smart machine it follows the commands given by a user a computer has four main parts as you know very well monitor cpu keyboard and mouse each part of a computer performs different functions so dear student as you know very well input processing your output this is also known as a ipo cycle so dear student now we are going to do the exercise of this chapter that is introduction to ipo chapter number 1 what is the name of this chapter the name of this the name of this chapter is introduction to ipo so dear student now we are going to do the exercise of this chapter chapter number 1 so dear student before doing the exercise of this chapter i have some important topic for you like topic number first is a computer has four main parts as you know very well number first is monitor number second cpu what is the full form of cpu in your previous in your previous class you will read about cpu it controls all the part of the computer and the full form of cpu is central processing unit number 3 is keyboard and number 4 is mouse so dear student your next important point is a computer goes through three steps to perform any task this is called input processing output or the ipo cycle now your next important topic is input is the data and instructions given to the computer input is the data and instructions given to the computer now your next topic is your next point is processing is the action of converting the input into a mean meaningful result processing is the action of converting the input into a meaningful result output is the result displayed by the computer after processing your next point is output is the result displayed by the computer after processing and now your next point is a computer is fast accurate and a multitasker a computer is fast accurate and a multitasker now your next point is a computer has no feelings and intelligence as you know very well a computer has no feelings and intelligence so dear student now we are going to start the chap start the exercise of this chapter a tick the correct answers a in your exercise in this lesson a take the correct answer number first is the term used for the final result is the term used for the final result is from your chapter we will already read that the term used for the final result is called output so dear student option number c option number c is the correct answer of this question so now you can say that option number c output is the correct answer for this questions so dear student now second 
what is the second what is the three step process on which a computer works what is the three step process on which a computer works so dear student as you can see option number a is ppo option number b is ipo option number c is plo so dear student from this chapter you have already learned about that the three step process on which a computer works that is called ipo so dear student option number b ipo is the correct answer for this question number 3 now we are going to do the question number 3 from the tick the correct answers name the processing device among the following name the processing device among the following so dear student as you can see option number a is cpu option number b is keyboard option number 3 c is printer so dear student from your chapter you have already learned about that the processing device among the following is called cpu a so dear student cpu is the correct answer for this question now we are going to do four which of the following is not a characteristics of a computer its iq option number a iq is the correct answer of this question so dear student now i am going to again revise the tick the correct answer number first is number first the term used for the final result is called output number second what is the three step process on which a computer works ipo input processing output is the three step on which a computer works now three <coughs> name the processing device among the following following option number a is cpu option number b is keyboard option number c is printer so dear student option number a cpu is correct answer of this question now next four which of the following is not a characteristic of a computer option number a is iq option number b is speed option number c is multitasking so dear student from your chapter you have already learned about that iq is not a characteristic of a computer so option number a iq is the correct answer of this question so dear student student now we are going to do question number b from your exercise fill in the blanks fill in the blanks so is dear student as you can see there are given a option input processing output ipo now we are going to do the fill in the blanks of this lesson a point number first data is entered through devices data is entered through devices so dear student as you know very well from your chapter data is entered through input devices input devices number second results are displayed on devices results are displayed on devices so dear student in your chapter you have already learned about that results are displayed on output devices now point number 3 is a computer works on cycle a computer works on ipo ipo means what is the full form of ipo its input processing unit a computer works on input processing unit output cycle now point number 4 is working of a computer on the given data is called das working of a computer on the given data is called das its processing its processing so dear student as you know very well working of a computer on the given data is called processing so dear student now we are going to do the true false of this exercise c c write t for true and f for false so dear student point number 1 is a computer has a huge storage capacity 
so dear student as you know very well this is a true statement that's why we can feel it's true now number second the mouse is an input device so dear student as you know very well this statement is also true that's why we can feel t number 3 ipo stands for input pen out it's wrong so dear student as you know very well from a chapter this is a wrong statement that's why you can feel f f for false now for a computer has zero iq it is also true as you know very well a computer has zero iq now dear student we are going to do d answer the following question answer the following questions <clears throat> question number first is define the terms input and output give two examples of each now we are going to do define the input 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 is the data and instructions given to computer as a example mouse keyboard now we are going to again define output output is the result displayed by the computer as a example monitor and speaker so dear student your answer is input input is the data and instructions given to computer as a example mouse and keyboard now output output is the result displayed by the computer example monitor and speaker so dear student now i am going to do the right of the question number second that is describe the ipo cycle with the help of example your answer is your answer is a computer works on three step number first is input number second is process number third is output and i am going to giving you example that is figure number 1.1 figure number 1.1 from your page number on your page number 7 page number 7 now i am going to do the question number 3 of this lesson that is explain any three characteristics of a computer <coughs> explain any three characteristics of a computer number first is speed speed a computer can perform any calculation at a very high speed a computer can perform any calculation at a high speed number second is accuracy accuracy a computer never makes mistakes as you know very well a computer never makes mistakes number third is multitasking a computer can perform multiple tasks at the same time So dear student now I am going to do the last question of this lesson that is what are the limitations of computer question number 4 that is what are the limitations of a computer your answer is the limitations of a computer are number first is no feelings number second is dependent on humans number third is zero iq your question your question is what are the limitations of a computer and the answer is the limitations of a computer are no feelings dependent on humans and number third is zero iq so dear student i have completed the exercise of this lesson that is introduction to ipo and i hope you will understand and you will do all the exercise very well way in your book so dear student i am going to giving you a home assignment that you have to write the question answer of this lesson in your fair copy be careful take care have a good have a great day